Thank you, Mr. President. We are here this evening after the conclusion of, of two cloture votes, uh, having failed to, to get the sufficient 60 that is required uh, to cut off debate and move forward. Um, as the floor manager, uh, I will be working with my uh, counterpart on the Energy Committee, Senator Cantwell, to, to define a, a, a list of amendments, kind of define the universe that we're talking about here, so that perhaps we can work towards an agreement, an agreement that will allow for uh, additional amendments to be processed, but ultimately an agreement that will allow us to get to passage of the Keystone XL pipeline. This measure, Senate Bill 1, a bipartisan uh, measure, a measure that will work to create jobs for this country, uh, a measure that will not only help with our relationship with our, with our friends and, and allies to the north, but, but a measure that is widely supported by the American uh, public. So I'm, I'm hopeful that what we will be able to do tonight, uh, working with colleagues, is to again define how we will get to final resolution of this very important bill. You know, last week, um, we saw this measure include several important um, energy efficiency bills with the adoption of, of the senator from Ohio's measure, uh, particularly the one provision that relates to water heaters, very time sensitive. Uh, we were also able to add to uh, S1 two cents of the Senate uh, uh, provisions, one that would relate to the oil spill liability fund. Uh, and another that related to the issue uh, of climate change. So here we are, well more than two weeks into debate on the Keystone XL pipeline. We voted on a total of 24 amendments to this bill, 24 amendments to the bill. We voted on more amendments last week than we did in all of 2014. In fact, on Thursday, it was a long day for all of us, but on Thursday, we moved out 15 amendments. That was more than we had done in all of 2015. In 2015, this Senate voted on 15 amendments. This past Thursday, we voted on 15 amendments on one day on the Keystone XL. We're now up to 24 amendments. And uh, we have made some progress. And I'm not, I am very, very aware that not everyone is, is fully happy with where we are right now. We, we hit uh, our first little bump in the road back to, to regular order. But that's, you know, we got to roll with some things around here every now and again. But I think the point that we're at, I hope, is that we will be able to get back on track and uh, a track that will allow for, again, closure of this very important measure. I, I would remind the Senate that um, we're, we're, in this, we're in this place where we, where we had to vote on cloture uh, because we got to a point last week where a unanimous request to vote on the then pending 12 amendments was, was blocked. But I, I will remind our colleagues that invoking cloture on a bill does not end all debate. We still have up to 30 hours of additional debate left. Um, and during that time, amendments that are germane to the underlying bill can still be called up. They can still be considered. They can still be voted on. We've got quite a few of those left. In fact, uh, last count. Uh, on our amendments that have been filed to date, there were 143 amendments that I have on my tally here today that have been filed. I don't know if that's a current uh, up to the minute uh, accounting. Uh, we had asked members to have their amendments in by, by 3 o'clock this afternoon, and uh, s uh, second degrees uh, filed by 5. So of these, um, there are uh, a fair percentage that are germane. 
So my, my point to colleagues is that there is still, there is still much to be done uh, with this bill if your interest is voting on amendments. Um, I want to repeat something that the majority leader uh, commented on when we came into session just uh, a little bit ago. Just a reminder that we were on this bill just two months ago. Just two months ago. And at that time, there was a grand total of zero amendments that we voted on. Zero. So now, as I mentioned, we've got, uh, we've got three that have been incorporated into the bill already, two cents of the Senate, one on climate, one on oil spill liability, trust fund, one on energy efficiency. Um, and, and, and again, some 140, 150 that have been filed. I'm glad that, we're, that we've got this process going on. I'm glad to see these, these amendments. But, but for those that would suggest that uh, somehow or other, the, the majority is closing down opportunity for debate or amendments. All you need to do is look where we were two months ago, same bill, same bill, zero amendments. Bring us forward to, to today. We've had votes on 24 amendments. We've adopted three of them. Uh, and again, there's about 140 some odd that are, are out there. So. Uh, again, uh, Mr. President, I want us to get through this measure, and I want to do so in a way that is respectful to the process, respectful to members, and, and that dignifies this institution. So we've got a lot that is out there. I recognize that. And uh, I've heard from members on both sides that are asking me, how do I get my amendment uh, pending, how do I, I, I get it uh, to that point that we can consider it? Um, and that is what we will be working through tonight and into the morning. And I, and I thank my colleague um, from Washington because I do think that we have been trying to work truly in, in good faith.